Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my faves and fails for January 2023. That means we're into February and I'm so happy because it means the days are getting longer and within a month or so, we should be getting a little bit of spring feeling weather. So I'm really psyched about that. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over products that I tried and tested over the past month, things that are new favorites, things that didn't work out so well for me and our fails and do mini reviews on them all here for you today. All right, let's start off in makeup this time and let's talk about some lip combos. I found a couple of really good lip combos this month, one I wore in a video, one I've been wearing behind the scenes. Got it on for you today to show it to you. The color is from an e.l.f. lip stain and I just bought this product a couple of weeks ago and I haven't worn it in a video yet, but today I felt like with this top, it was a perfect time to wear it. So this is the e.l.f. Glossy Lip Stain in Power Mauve. And this is such a nice lightweight product. You just slide it on your lips and it just gives you this beautiful stain of color that isn't going anywhere. So it will stain your lips and stay on for quite a while. And it's a really inexpensive product and I really love it. I bought it in two shades. I've only worn this one so far because I just, you know, felt like I needed something a little more punchy for these doldrum days of winter. This is kind of a glossy stain. If you blot it, it'll be a little more, a little bit more matte, but I do like to put a lip gloss on over it. And the gloss that I have on today, it's more of a plumping treatment than a lip gloss, but it really gives your lips a really nice glossy look. And that is the Derma E Ultra Hydrating Lip Plumping Treatment. Now this I think was sent to me in PR and I tried this the first time and I was like, oh, that tingles. <laughs> this is very, very tingly, but it actually really works and it actually does plump up your lips. And I love it in combination with this e.l.f. lip stain. So that's the first lippy combo that I had to share with you. Then I tried a new lip combo in a testing all new makeup video. And this combo is from Tarte. So this is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Liner and this is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream. So they came out with the regular juicy lips a couple of years ago and those are just a little bit too greasy for me. They don't last as long on the lips, but this is a little bit more of a solid formula, more like a traditional lipstick. And it's a beautiful color and a beautiful formulation. And I really like the packaging and I just love the combo. It's a really nice nude lip color. This one is in soft rose and this one is in soft pink, I think. And they're a really pretty combo. They lasted really well on the lips. Even after I ate, there was some color left on my lips. They didn't run up into my lip lines. They didn't feel drying at all. And I really liked them. And later in the day when I went to reapply this, I didn't use the lip pencil and this lasted really well on its own. So you don't have to have them together. A couple of other new makeup faves that I'm wearing today. One is the Ulta Beauty Gel Eyeliner. This is Ulta's eyeliner pencil, and I got it in this color eggplant, which is just beautiful. And this is a really great waterline eyeliner. They're waterproof. I have it on here today. It's really a creamy gel formula, so it just glides on your waterline, so you don't have to have to tug on your eyes. It's not really hard to get it to come off, and it's nice and creamy, so you can also put it above your lashes and run it on up there really, really easily. This wore really well all day long and it didn't come off until I took it off. So I really like that. And a new mascara that I tried this month and really, really liked is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. This is a really nice looking mascara. It's got kind of a funky wand. It's not like round, it's kind of flat and a little bit curved and it's got like teeth on the back side and then longer teeth on the side. It's kind of shaped like a little bug with its little uh, legs there on the side. So you use this back side with these little bristles here to first coat your lashes and then you use these side bristles to really grab the lashes and comb through your lashes. And my gosh, if it doesn't give you like telescopic lift and length to your lashes, these are probably the longest, most like feathery and pretty looking lashes 
that I've had on in a while and this lasted all day. This isn't the waterproof, but it didn't come off until I took it off and then it was really easy to remove. So I usually do like a really glossy, really silky lash. This doesn't give you that same like glossy silkiness, but it does give you really nice looking lashes. But I think the overall effect that it gives is just a really nice feathery, almost like a wearing a false lash kind of look. This little bug applicator made it really easy to do the bottom lashes. So I'm actually wearing bottom lash mascara here today. I hardly ever do that. I just don't really enjoy the look of bottom lash mascara on my lashes. If you do like wearing a lower lash mascara, the shape of this wand helps you to get your mascara on there without like lots of clumps and stuff and really helps them to look a lot, lot longer. So it's actually making my lower lashes look good. So really enjoy that mascara. Other makeup product that I've been loving this month are the e.l.f. No Budge eyeshadow sticks. I've been telling you about these for a couple of months, but I used them in the video on Tuesday, demoed how I use them and got a really pretty look out of them. And I just really love these. And uh, I used them that time with no eyelid primer just to see how they would wear. I feel like they wear a slightly better with primer than without, but you don't 100% need primer for them to wear. They didn't clump up in my crease or anything. They just had slightly less like vibrance at the end of the day than before without primer. If you just don't want to do that extra step, you can definitely just wear these on their own and they are great. Tried a couple of new foundations this month. The first one was the Makeup by Mario Surreal Foundation. This was not a favorite of mine. This was kind of a fail. This settled in my wrinkles big time and it just didn't wear well throughout the day. Um, there really wasn't anything that I liked about it. When I did the pros and cons in the video, I think I had easy to apply on the pros side and everything else on the con side. Settled in wrinkles, settled in pores, not long wearing, shiny, just didn't do anything for my skin. And then I also tried an all-in-one makeup palette and I like this more than I didn't like it. So this was not a complete success for me, but it also wasn't a complete failure. So this is an interesting makeup concept. You see these kinds of things all over TikTok where people have their makeup like dotted on or striped on, and then they blend it all together and bam, you have a beautiful face of makeup. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Palette. And so this has 12 pans. Uh, these two up here are color correctors. So for under your eyes, or you can mix them in with the foundation shades. This uh, palette comes in two different harmonies, they call them. This is Harmony 1, and then there's a darker one that's Harmony 2. And also when I did the review, I was saying like, I would like these in a different order. And someone had wrote in and told me that you could pop these out, they're magnetized, and then you can rearrange them if you want. It felt really lightweight. It felt really hydrating all day. It did settle into my wrinkles tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but not enough that anyone else could see it. It was a little bit too glowy for me, but with a little bit of powder, it looked really beautiful and it didn't wear too badly either. It wore pretty well for, I'd say, six to seven hours. By eight hours, it was worn off on my nose a bit, but other than that, it was still mainly in place and looking pretty good. What I did really like in here were the blushes and the bronzers and the highlighter. They were all really, really easy to work with and looked really nice on my skin and they lasted all day. I think it's a great idea for travel and I think that people with drier skin will really, really like this product. I wanted to show you a new makeup mirror. I saw this on Amazon over the holidays and I thought, oh my goodness, that looks like kind of a dupe-ish for the Ricky mirror. You guys know I love my Ricky mirror. What I especially love most about my Ricky mirror is the big Whopper 5X magnifying mirror that magnets onto to the front of the mirror so it's easy on and off. Well, I saw this mirror and it also has a magnet mirror. It's a lighted mirror, so it's got the little on off button here and you can toggle it up for different settings. And then it has the little magnetic magnifying mirror. So it's much smaller than the Ricky mirror, but it's a 10X mirror versus a 5X mirror. So you can really see the detail of everything that you're looking at with this mirror. I like the cord on this one because I can just plug it in and leave it. Like this is not a travel mirror, but it is perfect for at-home use. All right, so that's it for the makeup. Let's talk skincare next. I tried a new skincare gadget and that is the Zip. You guys have been asking me to try this for so long, but 
As I recall, when this first came out, it was like $800, right? Wasn't it? I just recently looked at it just to see because I linked it and it was more like a 450 price point. So has the price on this come down that much? Do you guys remember? Um, anyway, this was sent in PR and I was like, well, I've got it. People have been asking me, I might as well try it. So I've been using it in place of my new face to do my, you know, microcurrent device. And this is actually nano current, not microcurrent. I don't know if it's just that I love the new face so much and I'm so used to it that this just felt a little bit awkward and a little bit clunky and a little bit big around my face. At first I thought it was that the contact points were farther apart than they are on the new face, but actually I held it up next to it and they're not any farther apart. I think it's just that it has all this extra stuff out to the side here and out to the sides here that just makes this seem so big and clunky. Like part of my new t new face routine is to take those bigger balls and like start one ball like right in here and the other one out here and then just really carve out that cheekbone. With this one, to get this one to, as a contact point in here next to my nose, this thing has to be like squishing my nose over and I can't really seem to get that contact point in there. So for me, it just doesn't like fit the smaller areas of my face as well as the new face does. You know, I've been using it. I can't say that at this point I see a huge difference between results between the two. I do have a 30% off code for the zip if you're interested in trying it. It's Angie Zip and there will be a link for that in the info box below the video so you can give that a try. I will let you know after I've used it for like a month or two if I feel like there's a huge difference. One thing that was a big fail as far as the zip goes for me was the gel that they sent with it. This is the golden gel and for me the fragrance on here was just way too strong. This does stay wetter longer than like the new face gel. I am using the zip with my new face gel. Something else that was exciting that happened in skincare this month is that Timeless released the vitamin C serum in a glass bottle. So it used to come in a plastic opaque bottle. Of course, an opaque bottle is the best packaging for vitamin C and also an airless pump, which Timeless is one of the only companies that gives you an airless pump with their vitamin C. Most other companies are still doing the dropper. Now Timeless has improved their packaging and they're also offering this in a 1.7 ounce size as well and you can save a little money on that one. This seems to be a little bit better quality than the old one. A lot of people complained about the pump dispenser on that, that it leaked. I've been using this one. It doesn't have any leaking problems. So if you had given up Timeless because of the leaking pump, then maybe you could go back to it now because this really, in my estimation, is the best vitamin C serum. Another fave for this month is a product I've been telling you about for years, but for some reason I was talking about it a lot in January and I think it's just because it's the dry winter skin. It was also, like the number one selling product in my best of 2022 video. So that is my Alpha Skincare Renewal Lotion. Those of you who use this, you know what a difference it can make in your skin. It is really amazing. This is a 12% glycolic acid lotion, and this is great for getting rid of that crepey winter skin. It doesn't come with this pump. I steal the pump off of my new face gel. This cream is really thick and it is hard to get it out of there. I wish they would just package it with a pump. Alpha skincare people, if you're listening, put a pump on your bottle, please. It would make us all so much happier. It is a great product, very inexpensive, and has really changed the skin on my body for the better. And then also having to do with dry skin, this is something I mentioned in my how to beat dry winter skin video, is that I had switched all my liquid hand soap throughout my house a few years ago from, you know, like what was the one called soft soap, you know, like that regular old standard hand soap to these a la maison oil-based soaps. And this has made such an amazing difference in my hands. I noticed it the very first time I used this. This is the sweet almond scent and this just smells so good. This comes in so many beautiful scents. I've bought it in the yuzu lime, the rosemary mint, and the sweet almond, those are my favorites, but this is my favorite like for winter. It just smells so like homey and comforting. Neutrogena launched a new sunscreen last month and it was so exciting because it's their first tinted mineral sunscreen. So it's called their Pure Screen Mineral UV Tint Face Liquid with Vitamin E. It's an SPF 30. It is water resistant to 80 minutes 
and it has 21.6% zinc oxide. So this is a really beautiful sunscreen to wear on its own. If you've been looking for a tinted mineral sunscreen and could not find the right shade, this comes in four different shades. They're not tinted in a heavily pigmented way. They still go on very, very sheer. So here are the four shades from a previous video. Here is the medium shade. You can see it like matches me pretty well. And if I rub it in, you can see that like it's pigmented, but it's not like a solid makeup-y kind of pigment. It's very, very sheer on the skin. So basically the pigments function is to hide the white cast and it does that really, really well. So there's no white cast with any of these. It rubs in so quickly and easily and it just looks great on the skin. It's not super shiny. It does give you a little bit of like a healthy dewy glow. Um, and so I think it's a really great sunscreen to wear on its own. Of course, I tested it under makeup and it did okay under makeup, but it definitely shortened the wear of my foundation a little bit and it also made my foundation settle in my wrinkles more than it normally would. So it's not 100% the greatest under makeup, but I have been reaching for it so much just for, you know, a casual Saturday when I don't wanna wear any makeup. I can just, just put this on and go, and I really like that about it. All right, and I had one fail in hair care. I had ordered another product from, I call it Divines, but I guess it's Da Venus. Da Venus? Da Venus? I don't even know, but people told me I was saying it wrong, but when they wrote it out phonetically, I still couldn't figure out how I was, I was supposed to say it. But anyway, it's called, this is a volume boosting mousse. It's for long lasting buoyant textures. That's the name of it. This didn't really give my hair any extra hold. I curled it and the curls were gone actually faster, I think, than they were normally, which is weird. And it made my hair feel like plastic. Like it definitely coated it with some kind of a something that just made it not feel like silky. And the feeling on it was just very weirdly plasticky. So that was a fail. And let's talk about clothing. I did a sweater try on in my vlog video. They were all Amazon sweaters. And man, did I ever like luck out and pick all good things. Like I ordered, I don't know, I want to say 10 sweaters and they all were good. Usually I order 10 sweaters and one's good and I send nine back. So I think I just got lucky that time. There's no special magic. So this is one of the sweaters that was in the try on. And I think this was like my favorite sweater out of all of them. This isn't the color that I showed you before. I showed you this other color, which is a light blush pink in this sweater. And I love that one, but I loved it so much that I went back and ordered another one in this really poppy red color. And I really love this color. But this sweater is so great because the fabric is really thick. It really just has such a great feel to it, such a great weight to it. But it's kind of like a cross between a sweater and a sweatshirt, but it's like an elevated sweatshirt because it doesn't have a hood or a kangaroo pocket or anything. And then my other favorite sweater from the sweater haul is more of like a little Sherpa jacket. So it's this little Sherpa jacket. It's got a full opening in the front and it's got snaps. Most of them will have a zipper, but I really like the snaps. I think they're really, really cute. And it's just like a wobbly fleece jacket. It's got a little cuff here. Um, and I love this one because the collar is super soft and I can keep it open and then it's not rubbing up and bothering my neck, but it does keep me kind of the back of my neck warm because of the nice collar. It's nice because the inside is fleece as well and there's also an inside pocket so your phone can be nice and secure and it has outside pockets. So that is a super cutie as well. And what's nice about this is the sleeves are nice and roomy. And so you can fit this sleeve right inside of it. So if I do get chilly later, I've been just throwing on this jacket, like over something like this, and it just is perfect. And the jeans and the booties that I'm wearing with the sweaters, everyone wanted to know about. So those jeans, I've shown them to you so many times before. Those are my favorite Levi's. Those are the uh, wedgie icon fit and uh, I can link them for you below. And they're cropped just a little bit so that you can show off your booties. And everybody was interested in the booties as well. So the booties I have on with those are these. I bought these for myself for Christmas and I uh, hadn't really worn them too much in videos for you guys. I think that was their first maiden voyage, but so many of you love these booties. So I wanted to share them with you today. With a shorter cropped jean like that, they just look great because they keep your ankle warm. You can wear like a sock with them. They're just a really stylish and super comfortable booty. All right, so that's everything that I had to share with you 
in today's faves and fails. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.